Hey guys, this is Hobble Dragon, and as you can see, we are playing this war of mine. Very highly acclaimed game. Um, all this stuff on Steam says it's overwhelmingly positive, which I find kind of ironic considering this game is rather pressing. Um, because it makes your moral compass and your survival compass for lack of a better term, have a war with each other. Um, as humans with an actual moral compass, we have that fault of, should I do this because it'll make me a bad person, or it'll make me a great person, which in some cases is seen as being a bad person. Um, as you can see, it says continue, because I did try this already. Um, because I wanted to see what it was like. I have a friend who's been ranting about it non-stop. Uh, she says it's great. So I wanted to give it a try before uh, before I actually, you know, started playing it. Uh, but we will... Not sure actually what Write My Own Story is. We'll figure that out on our own, but we'll give it another try. Start from the start. Okay, see, this is new. When I first tried it, it was like, you get these people whether you like it or not. I guess because it's locked, it's like, well, I don't want you complaining about. Um, it's day-night cycles. It rotates, so you get... Daytime when you do stuff in the house. Then you get nighttime. When you, uh... Go out and scavenge. My house actually does look slightly different. Actually, it looks quite a bit different from the house that I started with in my test game. When the Civil War broke out, many people thought it was only last a couple of weeks. It's been years since government military surrounded the rebels in the capital, cutting off in any and all supply lines. The civil population trapped in the city are suffering from hunger, disease, and shelling. Katie, this is her, uh, met both Pavel and Bruno. I, this is Bruno, this is Pavel. Uh, she used to be a reporter, while Bruno, with his own television cooking show, yeah, that's him. Uh, Pavel, Pavel, Pavel was the star of the local football team. Katie even interviewed him once. Now they meet in dramatic, dramatically different circumstances, looking for food and shelter. Um, there is no tutorial. She did mention that there is absolutely... Oh, yeah, this is a bit bigger than my last one. There's absolutely no tutorial. Um, the last time I started, Bruno was slightly sick. Um, yeah, whether you start this anew or you doing like me, just restarting. And I only played for like an hour. Uh, there is no tutorial. You have to figure out stuff on your own. Um, this is, this icon is rubble. Like, you have to take the time to dig through it. See your little clock up there. Uh, these are doors, whether they're jammed, like this one, or easily openable. Uh, this is stuff that you can root through, find places to dig, in case like this. She found herbs, parts, Sugar. And your characters can, in fact, get drunk. It's actually entertaining in some cases when they do get drunk. Not sure where she's going. And that's like a chair. Those are like instantly interactive, interacted with parts. And this is kind of going on my mass storage, so I don't really have to worry about keeping it. Um, or bag space. When you go out, you only have a certain amount of bag space. Oh, wow. 
Okay, this place is a lot bigger than my last one. If you left or right click on the mouse, they run. If you uh, left click, yeah, if you left click, they walk or meander or whatever. Yes, things do go faster with different equipment, which you make as you go. I grew up in this city, but went abroad to study and started working as a reporter. I'd been away for years when the troubles escalated into a war. I was picking, I was picked to write reports on it. I'd have volunteered anyway. I I was so anxious to check on my parents, but it was too late. I found my house in ruins. My family had disappeared. I've been looking for them ever since. Coffee drinker. You can get, uh, like, coffee drinker. I think he's a smoker? Yeah. Um, their personalities will be affected depending on different things. Like, she sometimes will get a little antsy or slow if she doesn't have any coffee. And he gets kind of irritating. Okay, irritated. If he doesn't get cigarettes after a certain point. And that crap's locked. And this place is also running a bit slower than it was if you notice, yeah, the pictures do randomly blink. Kind of creepy. Uh, before the war, I used to own my, a restaurant. I even led, had my own TV show, Bruno's Cuisine. I'm sure we've seen it. I visited beautiful places where I was filmed, filmed cooking exquisite dishes. All that seems of no importance now, don't you think? Nowadays, you're lucky if you get your hands on some canned meat or a bag of rice. Who knows how long this war is going to last? Locked. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Why would it be locked? Uh, let's see. Clear that. Uh, before this whole mess began, I lived with my wife and my son in a better part of the city. I haven't seen them in a long time. Oh, they're okay. I'm not doing so well as you can see. Who needs football players during war? Nobody cares about sports when every day could be their last. So I scavenge the ruins like everybody else, hoping for the best. Yeah, you can jump around in days. Um, you can upgrade the place as you go along to make it, you know, less. Like my last place had a hole in the wall. Uh, you can upgrade that so that you can fill that in so you're not living with a giant hole in the wall. Uh, we only have one chair, we lack beds, and we have to sleep on the floor. It's hard to get a good night's sleep on hard, cold concrete, and the condition of those who are sick or wounded may drastically worsen. We don't have a radio. We don't know what's going on in the city. We really miss books. A good book could help us forget the horrors of war. Staying here is slightly better than living in the streets. We lack coffee and cigarettes. We have breaches in the walls. Our shelter is not safe. We have to cons constantly be on guard. At night, if you go out and you're not careful, you will <laughs> get raided. Hey. the uh, icon is changed for anything that's locked. Since he's the fast runner, I'm gonna have him go down there and pick that up. Uh, 
I do believe books you can use. Yeah. Fuel for heaters or stoves. Sugar is very common. Um, watching them get drunk is a little on the entertaining side. Uh, get her to make stuff. Because you do need beds. You do also need flooring for beds. So if, like, the room here, I honestly don't think we can make a bed there. Just for the simple fact that it's... Oh, hey. Okay, I wasn't able to make this right off the start last time. Or this, for that matter. The last time I only had the bed. One of the, the chairs, radio, I had the crude stove. Moonshine still, metal workshop, and the consumables, like the filters, fuel. Um. Kinda makes me wonder, does it rain more here than anywhere else? Um, let's make a bed first. Placing doesn't matter too much, at least as far as I know it doesn't. I mean, obviously you want to place it. Um, and nighttime, wasn't paying attention. Uh, do you want to... Since I was paranoid to begin with, I always kept a guard anyways. Um, but you, personally, you always want to keep a guard just because of the fact that you get raided, they steal all sorts of stuff, or they might actually kill you. Uh, but then you have your different locations, and they will open up. Like, the first time, this wasn't open for me. I had to, this opened up on the third night. Um, but yeah, there's lots of food, lots of meds, lots of parts, ruined villa, food, bunch of materials, meds, weapons, huge amounts of parts, abandoned cottage, food, materials, uh, meds, weapons, huge amounts of food, what's the difference? Um, but you can run into danger, It's another thing. You have to kind of balance, do you want to take up space with things out of your pack, or do you want to go empty-handed uh, for the fact that there might be someone there? There might not. Uh, one time I ran into a hungry hobo, which I guess is C. Um, and little pulses, I don't know if you can actually see them. Uh, that's you making sound. Is you looking around, making sure that nobody is there? Oh, that's not good.
Ooh, gee, that wasn't good. It's kind of a... We want to sneak around. Because you only have until night. And then you gotta... And I'm first time through, I'm not really too shy about stealing. surrounded by burning candles. Did she pass away? Before the war, she was not like to look at part of it. I'm not really sure why they keep leaving the damn doors open. Kind of, this game kind of makes you think about who you are. How are they gonna survive now? Like to me, that's that wasn't that bad. I feel like there was one on the roof and two running around. I feel like they got this. 
these poor people. I know it was cruel to take their supplies, but it was either them or us. And they they update every day. If we make it through, and I think cry over stealing once we survive this hell. Yeah, see, it's it's kind of that moral compass versus actual sort of thing. almost nothing and some people will feel worse than others and some will feel almost nothing compared to others Sometimes you'll have people come up to the door, you know, ask, that sort of thing. Uh, they'll ask for, hey, can you spare some of this, can you spare some of that? Help us. And that explaining how they get through that. That makes sense. That's just, uh, that's just beautiful. See, she's over here stressing about it. not really caring. It's kind of a, well, what do you do? Do you just let them keep the food and hope that you can find some in a better place? And if that's the case, your night's well, uh, If that's the case, your night's pretty much just screwed. think about. I mean, mind you, they're not going to survive, but neither will you. So it's either they go out or you go out. Is it better to let them go out or is it better to let you go out? Which one?
better. And depending on, I guess, how gray or whatnot your compass is or glib it is, because I mean, this is just a game. Uh. You can hear that ticking, that means it's almost close to the end of the day. Um, see, shelled school just opened up. Some food, huge amounts of materials, lots of meds, lots of parts. Supermarket is also new. Caution advised. That's another thing. It's probably whoever's here has quite a bit of stuff. They probably have a few people that. This is Sniper. It's a mouse, it's a rat, it's something like that. That's another thing is you will hear like rats walking around. It's very... Like, crap, is that an actual person? Or is that just... A mouse. all jacked up, it's probably mouse shirt and passing back and forth. Kind of makes me wonder, is there anybody that's like afraid of mice? Do you have someone in your group that's afraid of them? back uh, for some of this stuff. Come back on another night, grab more stuff. First day they robbed us, two days later they murdered our girls, shot every one of them. But I don't want to use the gun anymore, it's broken and buried in the backyard. The next part looks shaky. If you're reading this, don't look for me. Like that. How damn depressing is that?
backyard though. here. It still worries me that there's that sniper. That's our first episode of This War of Mine. See you guys next time. And damn it, of course we did. Salute, folks. Hobble Dragon reporting. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, come back for more. Longing for a brighter day? Click the link to the left. War is never this easy, but if you'd like to delve deeper, click the link to the right.